Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video, we're going to take a look at Chrome for iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. And in particular, we're going to be taking a look at iPad. So, uh, if you guys don't know what Chrome is, it's a, it's a desktop browser, and it was a desktop browser. Now it's on the mobile platform as well. Now it's been for uh, for for Android users now for quite some time, uh, but Google just released the Chrome browser for iOS users just yesterday. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, browser right here. So first of all, you guys can see it's got a pretty minimalistic sort of a design right here. You guys can see I've got most visited tab right here. I've got bookmarks and I've got other devices. I don't know if you guys can see bookmarks and other devices right here. Also, recently closed. So these are all the um, tabs that have recently closed. So let me go over to lockgnome.com and say apple.com and I will go over say um, Techno Buffalo. Now, basically, you can either write Techno Buffalo right so, you know, so I can write uh, Techno Buffalo dot com, or I can just write Techno Buffalo. It's gonna do a Google search, and I can go ahead and then get into it right from there. Now you can open up uh, tabs right from clicking this tab thingy right here, and you can open actually a lot of them. You can scroll through, and you can then also re uh, reposition them just like that. And now what's what else? Let's go over to locknome.com and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have go into this tab, this sort of lists right here. Over here you guys can see I've got new tabs, so I can open up a new tab, I can open a new private tab. So basically it gets into this private mode where you know it's not going to record your search history or you know your browser history or etc. So if you want you can do it like from here as well. And also you've got bookmark section, so it's gonna come and get into your bookmarks. And then you've got other devices which you're going to take a look in just a second. And then you've got find in page. You can email to someone. Uh, you can find in page. So I can say um, iPhone 1 of 1. There we go. Search. Uh, there's not anyone right there. I don't know what happened. But if I go back over to locknome.com and if I actually say find in page Chris, uh, let's say Chris. It's going to take me to that right there, quest right there. So uh, let's go back over to the same menu right here. You guys can see I've got a request desktop site. Then I've got settings. So I can sign into my Chrome right here by, you know, using my Gmail account. I have search engine, safe passwords. And under the hood, I've got voice history, clear browsing data, report an issue, privacy, content settings, etc, etc. Now going back over here, you guys can also see other devices now other devices is basically where you can have all the tabs you know you can see all the tabs that have opened on other devices so over here I've got my computer and I've got my iPod touch and I've opened camera labs right here it's going to take me to that if I go over to other devices again I can see I've got YouTube and apple.com opened on my computer so you can guys you can do a lot of different things from the from here onwards so I can open a tab so all these tabs which are open are going to be now appearing on my computer or also on my iPod touch so if I go over to the same section on my iPod touch I can see all the tabs opened on my iPad and my computer so this is a really nice thing guys that uh, sort of uh, keeps each and everything in sync so if you know let's say I'm doing some work on my computer and then let's say I come back on my iPad I've got that same exact tabs opened over here as well this is guys this is Chrome browser in a nutshell um, let me know what you think of this Chrome browser are you going to be using it as your one and only browser for a week or so or if it's now has replaced Safari permanently well for me I think I will be using Chrome now for, uh, for about a week or so if we're gonna have a look we, I'm actually have going to see how it all goes through but guys that is it basically that is my just an overview on Chrome and uh, I'll also be doing a video on Google Drive so stay tuned for that as well and God, that's it basically so uh, do uh, like this video it's going to be appreciated comment down below as to what you think about this video and also Chrome browser and did you download it or not are you going to use Chrome or Safari and also guys uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when I um, upload a new video just like this one and God, that's it from this video don't forget to uh, watch my previous video on air server which I'm using right now Alright guys, that's it from this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.